Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we are continuing Tony's Juice Story in our Eco Lifestyle Rags to Riches series. I'm really excited to get back into this as I am with all my other series. <laughs> so in the last episode, I showed you guys the store. We made some more money and we also went on a few dates with Freddie. We went camping. I'm pretty sure that was the last episode, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. I'm so glad that you guys like Freddy cause I'm like obsessed with him. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you guys the store updates that I did. Uh, we raised actually a lot of money from um, selling our juice. So I had some extra money to like throw into the store. So I made some changes and I'm so excited to show you guys. I also made some changes to the house too. And then also I kind of want to go exploring for different kind of fruits and different kind of plants so we can make more like different, a different variety of juices, like some special ones. I know that the possibilities for juice making in this game are almost endless and I know that we haven't even made a dent in the possibilities so I'm very excited to see what we can do. All right guys enough chit chat let's get into this episode. Okay you guys this is me coming to you like how long have I been filming? Two hours and 15 minutes later. So I just got a pop-up that my screen recording failed and I lost all the footage. I lost two hours of gameplay that I was originally going to upload. So that's really frustrating. Um, so I'm still gonna film an episode right now. I'll just tell you guys what you missed and then I'll just like keep filming, but it's probably going to be a really short episode. Probably around 30 minutes or so. We'll see how long I can last, but oh my gosh, I'm so mad right now. Okay, let me fill you in on what just happened in these past two hours. So basically, I made some changes to the house. I added this like little pergola thing with some string lights. It was Christmas, so we had like a little house party with a few friends. Uh, what else happened? We went exploring in some different worlds for some more crops and fruits and things like that. And we got some new plants because we maxed our gardening skill actually. And so we were able to buy packets of rare plants and I did that, I bought a bunch of packets. We got orchids, we got dragon fruits, we got what else, what else, what else, what else? Birth of paradise, a death flower, which is cool. Uh, we went to Solani, got some pineapples, we got some coconuts, um, and we got some cow plants because that's what she wants to do for her aspiration. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this happened. That really sucks. Um, I hope you guys can forgive me. Sometimes, um, there's some technical difficulties and there's like nothing that I can do about it. But hey, it is what it is. Oh yeah, and another thing that happened. Oh, I got the candle make making station too, just so we can make some candles. It's pretty cool we made one here. And, uh... Yeah, it like melted all the way down in a few days, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so she invited Freddy over, or Freddy came over just to hang out for a bit, and they autonomously went and woohooed in the dumpster. Um, that was the first time they woohooed too, and they decided to do it in the dumpster. So that happened. <laughs> I gave Tony a few new outfits. I changed the swatch of her dress that she wears all the time. I gave her, let's see what else. I gave her this outfit, which is so cute. I love the sunglasses on the head. I gave her, let's see, this outfit, which is also really, really adorable. I gave her some, oh yeah, this cherry outfit. So cute. What else, what else, what else? This one. Uh, I just gave her like a refresh because I was kind of sick and tired of seeing her old outfits. Uh, right, I gave her these two dresses here for hot weather and then I gave her a few um, cold, new cold weather outfits as well. Um, this as well. Super, super, super cute. <laughs> So yeah, we've just been, we got a bunch of beans from the rare plants. Look at all these different plants that we have. We found a bike. Oh, this is a really, really cool bike too. We have two bikes now from the dumpster. <laughs> That's pretty rad. What else happened? It was winter when we started this episode and it is now spring. Um, at our Christmas party, we tried to get Tony with a different girl because we determined that Talia is pretty evil and mean. 
So we decided to maybe hook him up with Lena. This girl right here. I think her and Tony would be really cute together. Oh yeah, and Tina and Yasmin and Olive, I gave them makeovers and I showed you guys them too. Let me just invite them over. I'm honestly so beat, you guys. Okay, here is Olive's makeover. I showed you guys um, a little picture, like a preview. She's got some really bright activewear, huh? Oh God, and here's Miss um, Yasmin over here getting attacked by our bees. Sorry about that, love. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So yeah, that's her. And then here's Miss Tina. She's so cute. I love their makeovers. It's way better than before. Oh yeah, we made some juice out of our moral mushrooms. These right here. And they, they, okay, you guys remember when we made our trash juice? How it was in those like black swirly bottles? It turned out to be in the same bottles. So I think anything that's like weird that you make juice out of, it's just going to be in those weird bottles. I thought it was just from the trash fruit, but no. It's like a, a, a very common thing, I guess, if you put suspicious things in the juicer. Oh look, Miss Tina just automatically came over here and started uh, making candles, of course. Of course. What else happened, you guys? I don't even remember. We went to the community garden to see if anything grew, but it didn't because everything was like out of season. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I redid the store. I should probably go back over there and show you guys. We opened the store for a little bit too. I don't have a Celsius today. I actually had a cup of coffee before this and uh, I thought it would be pretty dangerous to have a Celsius. So I've got tea. <laughs> really good. Okay, well now I can proper properly show you guys the new and improved business. Um, it was winter when I showed you guys earlier. So everything was just like covered in snow. It's definitely not as pretty as it is now. Oh my God, look at the grass over there. Wow, so flowery. But yeah, oh, that's another thing that we did. We went to the Spice Festival and we got the uh, we got a cow plant berry there and we ate some taquitos and learned the recipe to that. Dang it, you guys, I'm so sad that you're not gonna be able to see that footage. Ugh, so annoying. But anyway, here's the outside patio. Uh, it's pretty much what I had in mind. Really, really, um, just cute. I love these lanterns. I think they're from Peacemaker Sims. And then I've got like a little busker station over here so that we can have some like live music outside. And let me show you guys the inside, the changes that I made in there. I spent like all of our money again. <laughs> it is what it is though. Okay, so you come inside and there are the tables here again, but I put these baskets on the table and put some produce inside. The only thing though, like I tested it out and I opened the store and I set these things for sale, but um, since it's like the move objects cheat was on and I placed them very meticulously, um, when the customer tries to buy something, they're just like, I can't reach it, I can't buy it. So these fruits are more for show, like they're for sale, but they're not really for sale, you know? But I still think they look really cute. Same with these shelves here. The Sims can't reach the higher shelves, so I just placed some of this juice um, custom content that I found just to fill up the shelf so it didn't look as empty. And then we'll just put some six packs here on the bottom shelves and um, have them purchase from there. And then we've got like this big glass window here so people could see into our little greenhouse. And then I added another pillar. Um, I wanted to put my honey on these shelves just because they're like shaped like little honeycomb things But I tried it and again the sims were like I can't reach it So I think we're just gonna put honey there and have it be for like show I opened the bathroom to everyone so customers can come in now I just use this like plant wall divider thing from eco lifestyle And then over here behind the register We just have this like huge plant wall, which I think is pretty rad and then I added a queue line too it's so cute and then I just have this little table here with some custom content like juice cartons and these little like jelly jars filled with miscellaneous things the sims can't buy the stuff but it's again for show just to fill in all the space because we really don't need that much space for actual juices and then through here we've got the little cafe area I got this mod by little there's just trash and food everywhere this mod by Little Miss Sam's that allows you to, if there's an espresso bar or like a regular bar or this busker station, um, you can like, it'll auto hire employees that will work the stations. 
the only negative thing about that is you don't get the money from like the the barista thing uh you don't get the money from whatever it's kind of just there that sims can use um so we won't be able we so we won't be getting money from that but that's okay i still like the idea of there being like a cafe here but at the same time like sims don't really use it the only sim i saw using it was tony so that's kind of a bummer but i hope you guys like the updates i made to the store i think it actually looks more like a store now just like not so empty and boring if you know what i mean well oh yeah see look there's the barista she's she just like shows up is there even a trash can on this lot? Ooh, I feel like there is not. I think we need to get one for sure. Oh, we can get a dumpster. That's what's up. Bam. Then we could die for meals and die for deals here. And look, a busker showed up. I just thought it would be nice to just have some like outside music here, but like no one, no one chills. They don't like sit down or do anything. It's kind of frustrating, but. I guess it won't happen unless your lot is a cafe or a bar. Oh well though, oh well. <laughs> what are you getting? Oh yeah, it's almost Tony's birthday, so I kinda wanna get her a potion of youth. I'm really not ready for her to be an adult yet. Since it was Winterfest in this episode, it's been a whole year, like a whole year in Sims time because uh, do you remember when she went to the bar for Winterfest and everyone was belly laughing in the bar? Well, everyone was belly laughing at her Christmas party, and I realized that we have been in this for a year. Oh, hello, Mr. Sir in a skirt. Friendly introduction. Oh, and we did a lot of dumpster diving, too. We found a lot of stuff, and we sold a lot of stuff. We got a new oven from the dumpster, this one right here. Pretty stoked on that. Oh, yeah, and I moved the bugs up here onto these shelves, just because it was, like, crowding over here. And I had a Christmas tree here for the party, so I moved this chair, but we can move it back now. Bam! What else? What else? What else? What else? <laughs> oh my goodness. Good to see you guys are still in love. Very good to see. I want her cow plants to grow already, and then her aspiration will be finished. Since we have some six packs, I'm gonna just get her to sell them. Uh, it's only a couple, so I don't really want to do it at the store. You know, we did this earlier in the episode, and it really bummed me out because uh, our stuff was not selling for a lot, and I was really confused. Like, the six packs were only selling for like a thousand something. I'm not really sure what happened because- Oh, hi, Freddy. Are you gonna buy something? Culinary career? That actually sounds really fun and definitely Tony's up Tony's alley, but- Nah. Oh yeah, I wanted to enroll her in the freelance career. Okay, 2100? It's not bad, but it's also not great. 11 th Whoa! Wait, what? Everything I just said that like completely canceled it out. 11,000. That is the most we've ever sold a six pack for. Holy cannoli. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm shook. Okay, how do we enroll in the freelance career again? Do we have to find a job? Mm, 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 mm. Freelancer. Uh, crafter, digital artist, fashion photographer, programmer, writer. Be your own boss, set your own work schedule. Sounds good, right? If you're both self-disciplined and determined, a career as a freelancer may be the right path for you. Multiple trades available to work within. Agencies that are standing by to Mmm. Okay, well, let's give that a shot, shall we? Select a trade. Uh... Yes, simply crafted, trade fabricator, juice fizzer, candle maker. <gasps> Perfection. Some words of advice, always be polite to clients, finish all your tasks on time. Oh, and make sure you have the tools of the trade. We have high hopes for you. Thanks. Okay, select an agency. None of these are what we need though. I guess it would be, mm, these don't make any sense. Can we just like not select an agency? That's very strange. Check for gigs. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, mother may I? I'm devastated. I recently lost my mother. It happened so fast. Slipped right down the s sink. I'd like an order of your kombucha. I need a new mother. What? That makes no sense, but uh, okay, let's grab that. So, chat with client, brew kombucha, send your finished work to the client. Okay, how do you chat with client? Use a computer. 
I don't want a computer, but okay, whatever. I guess we'll just like snag a laptop. There you go. We learned the recipe for a fabricated, uh, a fabricated desk. So perhaps we should get one and like make a little office since we're a freelancer now. Go ahead and chat with client. Who's this? Penny Kirkland. Huh. I'm surprised you guys are still here. I'm pretty stoked. I mean, Mikasa is Sukasa, I guess. Ooh, ooh, an event. Oh yeah, we went to a really, really sad birthday party. It was at a accept creepy invitation. You will get to see who invited you after you accept. You can still cancel later on. <gasps> Spicy, you guys. I think we should definitely do it after she chats with this client though. Freaking two hours of footage. Oh, I can't get over it. I'm sorry I keep talking about it, but bruh. Bye everybody, thanks for coming over and hanging out. All right, she chatted with the client. Let's accept this creepy invite. <sighs> okay, let's see. I dialed a random number and you answer. That means we should get to know each other. Do you wanna meet here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she looks pretty, so it lo actually looks like a sim that maybe I made or one of you guys made. I honestly don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay, we're in Strangerville. Interesting. Oh, this girl! Yes, 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 yes. What's her name? Bria Vance. I feel like one of you guys made her for my legacy challenge? Maybe? I don't know, I don't know, but I know that she's in my library, so my game probably just like threw her into this one. Um, she's really cute though. And we're already good friends, holy cannoli, that was fast. Look at that relationship bar, we literally just met her. Hell outrageous story. Do we have a best friend yet? Oh yeah, it's T um, Tina. Right, she's real pretty y'all. I love her vibe so much. So what's up, girl? What's your career? What do you do for a living? Oh my god, another wall light recipe. Unemployed? Okay, girl, we're gonna, uh, decide your life. There we go. Decide Bria's life. Oh my god, did she leave? Don't leave. You can't leave. All right, let's see what she got. Oh my gosh, we know way too many people, you guys. Where is she? She should be at the top if we're talking to her right now. There we go. A uh, diver. Interesting. And also, there was this one girl that we met that I made. Uh, she's really, really cool looking, but I put her in the game in the beginning. What the heck are you doing? Oh! Oh, right! So I got a mod where you can rollerblade everywhere. And she's the first person that- or first sim I've seen do it. Isn't that so cute? I know that rollerblading is like a huge thing on TikTok right now, so I thought that would be like... <laughs> I thought that would be a uh, pretty, um, what do you call it? Fitting for this Let's Play. Uh, where's Jimena? Jimena! Oh my god, Tony's doing it too? How cute! Yay, she could be a rollerblade girl! Oh my god, I love it. I love it, I love it. We need to get that fitness skill up so that you can be real good at it. Oof, rollerblading on dirt. Can we harvest this? Take picture? Nah, we good. We only interested in harvesting. <sighs> oh, shoot, are you tired or something? Okay, yeah, you're pretty tired. Perhaps we should go home. Let's exit out this random invite. Head home, go to bed for a little bit. Uh, but we did make a new friend, which is exciting. I wish we could harvest those. I want a random invite to Sig Sam so we can get alien plants and make juice out of it. We went over to Forgotten Hollow just to see if I could get like Wolfsbane or Plasma Fruit or anything like that, but I didn't find any, which is quite sad. Oh my God, our cow plant is in perfect quality. Why have you not grown though? Do you need to be like, oh wow, you need like a lot of room. Holy cannoli. Mm, there, perhaps. <laughs> okay, you could grow now. Oh, that's right. We got some grow fruits as well. There's one there and there's one there. Can't wait to make juice out of that. Good morning, George. How are you? Oh, you know what else we got from a dumpster? This bad boy. Pretty cool, eh? She could watch TV from bed. I don't know if, like, 
The Sims will like register that, but I thought it was kind of a cool concept. And all of our stuff's ready to harvest. How exciting. Tomorrow is love day. Okay, perhaps we can go on a little datey date with Freddy Fred. <laughs> That should be cool. I also got a second set of bees over here because I made this like second smaller little greenhouse on this side just because I needed more room for more plants. And the bees over here wouldn't reach. So yeah, that's why I got more bees. Oh, right, our freelance thing. I can't forget about that. Uh, brew kombucha on the food. Okay, let's do it. Load ingredients. Let's do a basil one. Good morning, George. How are you? I hope you're feeling fine. I'd love to stay and talk, but it's almost eight o'clock and I haven't got the time. Go to the bathroom and lock the door if you hear anything. Run. No, Casey. We're good. We are good. I'm gonna put her computer in the inventory because I don't want her to just go on it all the time. Because there's nothing fun to do in the house, she autonomously um, just gardens and it's really nice. I haven't seen her try to watch the TV yet. All right, we can do a basil one. We can do a bluebell one. No, let's do a... Um, do a chrysanthemum one and why don't we just make a candle while we're at it let's do another cylindrical molded one and it's so cool you can use the dye on candles isn't that rad i'm gonna make a houndstooth one since we've got like a bunch of houndstooth dye it's weird how the candle making doesn't do any skill like it doesn't even help your fabrication skill oh yes it does it's going up but there's no bar above her head weird why are the cow plants not sprouting acting Oh, that would be so cool, but no, it just doesn't fit the let's play, you know? So basically all they do with the candle machine is she pours the hot wax into the mold and then she just stands there until the mold hardens. <laughs> it's really quite boring and they don't sell for that much. Even though the quality, the last one she made, the quality was exceptional. Normal. Okay, interesting. Let's, let's have a look at this. That's a really cute candle. Oh my God, I love it. Let's light it. Okay, one more batch of kombucha to be made. Uh, we can do, hmm, let's do lily. Ugh, lily kombucha probably tastes like garbage. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Ooh, we can die for some deals right now. Let's do it. Recycled materials, that's it. Ugh, give me something good. Tell me something good. I've been putting all of our upgrade materials into this box. Um, I really want her to get to handiness level four so that we can upgrade this um, vertical planter to the automatic watering system. Oh, we just need parts. Two common upgrade parts and two plumbing upgrade parts. I think we have that. Let's see. Plumbing. Okay, one, two, and then common upgrade parts. Oh! Oh my goodness! I think we could do it now. Let me see. Oh my god, we can. Yes! Why are you sitting on that bench over there? You have your own couch, bro. See, look, we just lit this candle and it's already like halfway gone. Our kombucha is ready. That we could send it to the customer and make our money, even though we'd make so much more money if we just sold this kombucha instead of giving it to this customer. But hey. It is what it is. Send to client for approval. Send to client for approval. Ooh, this is a masterpiece, the chrysanthemum one. Send to client for, dashing, this is exactly what we were looking for. Keep up the great work, Tony. All right, we did it. We did it. Let's find another gig, I guess. No flavor country. Oh, they want some tofus. It looks like we need a level 10 fabrication to get the good stuff. Look at this, $2,000. Dang. Okay, this one was like super, super easy. We just had to make one six pack and that's it. Oh, it's love day. It's love day. <laughs> We're gonna go on a date. I did place a restaurant, so we can um, go check that out. All right, send to client. It's a masterpiece. She better like it. 
This is the most boring thing I've ever tasted. My taste buds weep with the cruel monotony of existence. Well done. Beautiful. Ooh, Freddy is inviting us on a date. Okay, I guess we're going to lunch for Valentine's Day then? A cafe? Nah, dog, nah. We need to do dinner. I'm confiscating this computer or putting it in your inventory because it's all you do, girl. That's it. I mean, I understand, but like it's super annoying, so I'm gonna get you to just not. <laughs> all right, let's harvest all. Our dragon fruits have been harvested. I wonder how much money we'll get from a uh, from a dragon fruit juice. We should definitely give that a shot. Oh no, it's already nine o'clock. Holy crap, time freaking flies. All right, okay, here we go. Ask on date. Oof, this is a late dinner, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, we can give him some flowers because we have some in our inventory. It'd be so cute. Okay, let me see what I placed here. I think it was all in Newcrest. Um, let's see what we got. Eco restaurant? That would be cute. The Shamra Irish Pub? No. What's this one? That's a bar. Okay, let's check out this eco restaurant. I'm excited. I haven't checked out this lot yet. Hi, Freddy. Oh. Can you put on like a date night outfit? It's freaking Valentine's Day. Let's wear something nice. Let's wear this. I love this. And then Freddy, did I give you a nice outfit? I can't remember. Hmm, this one's kind of nice. It's nicer than your uh, everyday. Ask if single. Let's just ask him right off the bat, shall we? Gibishi Slacka. Gibishi You better be single, boy. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna throw some confetti in celebration of that. <laughs> All right, let's check out this restaurant then, shall we? This is actually really cute. Look at all that. Oh my god, there's rose petals in the. Aww! So cute! Okay, where do we ask for table? Here. What quest table? It's kind of awkward that there's some tables like right here near like the the hostess thing, but whatever. What else we got? Some tables over here. We got bathrooms, kitchen. I love this little outdoor seating over here. This is really adorable. Oh yeah, and there's this little farmer's market over here too that I placed. Isn't that cute? Oh really? This is the table that we get? Oh my gosh, this is... Awful. Okay, let's see. Uh, order for table. Let's get some gumbo for ourselves and then we'll get the lobster tortellini for homeboy here. Cute. Look at these cute little desserts. Cow plant essence meringue pie. Oh boy. Nah, that's good enough. That is good enough. Okay. So what do we need to do? Mangle, socialize, ask about day. Oh, I love the wall there, that's so cute. It's actually really nice in here. Big fan, big fan, big fan of this outside as well. It's so gorgeous with the farmer's market across the way. I love it. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> I don't know anyone who throws confetti on Valentine's Day, but it is what it is. Oh, we should ask him if he wants kids. Is that too, uh, too forward? Let's ask. Do you want kids, Freddy? I'm real curious. I'm open to the idea of having kids. Aw, how sweet. That's really cute. They're really cute, but like, where's our food though? There it is. Aw, look at them with their little cream colas. Aw. Yums. Dig in, guys. Love Day was awful. What are you talking about? This game doesn't know nothing. Goodbye. This Love Day was great. Why isn't he eating his food? Why does this always happen? Are we gonna have to pack this up into a lunch and take it home? <laughs> Gold medal earned. That's what's up. Okay, well, I'm gonna pack this into a sack lunch for you there, and I'm just gonna take it home, okay? Bloop. Apparently you didn't like it. This is a really cute spot. I love this. I just searched eco restaurant. I think Freddy's leaving. What are you tense about? Seriously from life. Tony seems to have upset. Expect some nasty text. What the heck even happened? She was just on a lovely date with Freddy. Okay, he left. He left without kissing us. He left without, without, what the, what is this? <laughs> okay guys, well, who the? 
Swag. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here. Uh, going on three hours of filming now. So I'm sorry that this episode is so short. Oh God, drama texts. Tony seems like such an unproblematic person though. I don't understand why she would be getting texts like that, but I guess it's just automatic and slice of life. I really don't understand why our cow plants aren't growing. It's been like a week since we planted them. Probably just take a long time. Hello there. Is that Tony? It is. I don't know you guys, who should we get Tony with? Because I'm kind of vibing that maybe we could like, it would be like me and Freddy and then Tony and someone else and we could like double date and stuff. What are you trying to do? No. No, 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 no. Just come over here and take a nap and cool off a little bit, okay? So our options for Tony, the guy, the guy, guy, guy that we were like gonna go on double dates with, definitely not Talia, cause we figured out that she's mean and evil and crazy. Um, there's, what do we got? Bria, that would be kind of cool. There's Lena, which is one of your guys' sims, so I think it would be neat to like, see your sim around. Persephone maybe? Um, Jimena, this is a girl that I made. Let's invite her over so I can show you guys what she looks like. That could be an option. Or... I think that was it. There's a bunch of options. We can like convince him to hook up with one of them and hopefully they'll date and then we can go on like cute little trips and dates together. So I don't know. Oh! Oh my god, he sprouted. He sprouted right in front of our eyes. Hi, Mr. Cowplant. Hello, sir. This is exciting. Oh my god. Oh look, there's Jimena. Okay, so I made this girl the same time I made Casey Aiken, that one guy with the, the pink buzz cut. <laughs> As you can see, I took lots of ins- or I made them together, so I kind of- I don't know, maybe they're friends and they went and got buzz cuts together. But those aren't the eyes I gave her. But anyway, she's really, really cool looking. I love her tattoos um, and her hair, so that's an option as well. Ooh! Ooh, Tony has completed the freelance botanist aspiration. Holy cannoli. Okay. Wow. Trait air naturalist. Sim is fireproof and instantly puts out fires. Okay, select new aspiration. What should we do next? What was eco innovator again? Oh yeah, become a civil designer. <laughs> That's poop. Maybe we should just do the fabulously wealthy one so that we know when we complete the rags to riches um, milestone or whatever. Hello. Senor, let's feed him. Are you hungry, Mr. Cowplant? What should we name it? What the? Is she calling us smelly? Are you mean? Smooth apology. I don't think it was you that was mean. It was her, so why you got to apologize? Anyway, I'm gonna send her home. I just wanted to show you guys. Let's pet him. Hi, baby. Hi, little fishy. Oh, you guys, I want a cow. I want a cow so bad. You know what we should do? We should invite over our enemy and have her get eaten by the plant. <laughs> Cause why not? What are you gonna have? Peas? Interesting choice. Nah, we good best, we good. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead, end this episode right here. Again, very, very sorry that it's so short. Why is there a random plate here? What in the heck? <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.